The Family TV Mass is brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation, Dr. Montano G. Ramos General Hospital, and SM Development Corporation. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the feast of the baptism of our Lord, with the theme called to share in the mission of the Lord's servant. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word SVD brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Salitao Hall of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Bel San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. So we have just uh, began this uh, new year for the year of uh, uh, January uh, tw 2021. And today is the uh, feast of the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we thank the Lord that uh, we are still here. We're still uh, healthy. We are still uh, having our families. And, uh, of course, there are um, many tragedies that happened, also calamities, and even... Uh, uh, many, uh, uh, many things that uh, have uh, challenged our faith and our hope in the Lord. So now, dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Lord's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, by your baptism, you showed your readiness to atone for our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, at your baptism, you were proclaimed God's beloved Son, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in your baptism, you were anointed with the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. 
sa Diyos sa kaitaasan. Kaloob sa lupa ay kamayapaan. Inupuli ka, ipinandara, sinasamba. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him, your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. This is the first of the four songs of the servant of the Lord. All Christian generations have seen in the servant of the Lord a figure prophecy of Jesus of Nazareth, the one in whom alone the Father is fully pleased. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give thanks to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. 
the Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. This passage is an excerpt from the discourse of Peter in the house of the Roman centurion Cornelius. It is used in today's feast because of its reference to Jesus, whom God anointed with the Holy Spirit and power. The second reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of all. What has happened over all Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. heavens were opened and the voice of the Father thundered, This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. And coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and a spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, um, there is a story about a woman who brought her child to church for baptism. And the priest uh, asked her, uh, what's going to be the name of uh, this uh, child? At alam niyo po, uh, nabigla yung pare nung sinabi niya, Father, ang pangalan ay Toyota. And then, um, um, sabi niya, bakit naman Toyota ang pangalan ng uh, yung uh, baby? Kasi po, Father, sinabi niya, yung panganay, ang pangalan ay uh, si Ford. 
Yung ikalawa naman ay si Mercedes, yung Mercedes-Benz, you know? At yung pinakamaliit ay Beetle, sabi niya. Ba, nairito yung pare at sabi niya, Ale, ano ba ang gusto mong uh, ipag... Uh, uh, pag uh, bibinyan ko sa an- anak mo diesel o gasolina <laughs> so uh, well of course my dear brothers and sisters this is uh, just a funny story but it focuses on the attention of uh, the feast of Christ uh, baptism and also our deteriorating way of uh, naming our uh, children who are baptized using the name of celebrities meron pang nagpabinyag sabi niya father ang pangalan ng anak ko ay covid ay eh, ano ano ba naman pangalan niyan ay eh, nakakalungkot at uh, uh, we are in a crisis and ipangalan mo pa dito sa uh, isang uh, uh, demon demonyong covid sabi niya But anyway, my dear brothers and sisters, when the Lord waded down the river Jordan and was baptized by John, the sacrament of baptism was inaugurated. Before ascending to heaven, Jesus made baptism a command or obligation, saying, Go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So, ito ang dahilan kung bakit uh, tayong mga Kristiyano ay uh, dinadala ang uh, uh, inyong mga anak para mabinyagan habang sila ay sanggol pa. So, it is an immense credit of Christian parents, whether they are rich or poor, old or young, in having their children baptized. And that's very good. It's very admirable among us Filipino Christians, Catholics. The problem, however, brothers and sisters, is that after the sacrament of baptism, there is no follow-up or religious instruction of the children is uh, rather lacking. As somebody said, there are uh, these uh, children of Catholics who come to church three times only in their whole lifetime. Sinabi niya, pag sila ay nabibinyagan, dinadala sa simbahan. Pag sila ay uh, kinakasal, ay uh, uh, sa simbahan gagawin. At kung sila ay mamamatay, ay doon din sa simbahan. And... In other words, Nabinya, this is when you know a child is hatched, then later they are matched, then when they are dispatched. Well, uh, dispatched sa columbarium or dispatched sa cementerio. Now, this is rather exaggerated, but it means, my dear brothers and sisters, that uh, this happens when parents do not accompany their children to church or instruct them to do their children's duties and obligations as Catholics. The theologian Bernard Cook, in his book, Christian Sacraments and Christian Personality, writes, Our baptism is not an action which happens one and has no further significance for our life. What's very important is the religious and moral instruction. We are happy that this is done in Christian schools as well as in public schools through Catholic instruction and catechetical uh, catechetical teachings. But mainly due to lack of religious instruction, they don't know their Christian and moral obligations. Yes, many go to church on Sundays. Of course, with exception now because of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. 
And many are also making devotions to the Black Nazarene, the Santo Nino, and to our Blessed Mother. And again, these are all good. However, what's lacking is the practice of the teachings of God in our day-to-day -day life. Alam po niyo, minsan, ako ay namamagitan sa ang kawaw, ay a cousin and the auntie, and they had been quarreling and unforgiving for one another. Then um, I uh, asked uh, one of them, and I talked uh, personally uh, to her. Sabi ko, uh, pwede ba, wag na natin, uh, wag na tayong uh, tuloy pa itong mga uh, inyong uh, pag-aaway at uh, inyong uh, uh, unforgiving uh, your your uh, cousin, I said. At uh, alam niyo ito ay uh, um, otos ng ating Panginoon. This is the will of God that you forgive one another. At alam niyo po ang nangyari ay muntik na akong mahulog sa aking upuan. Sabi niya, Father, pwede bang wag natin isama ang Panginoong Diyos dito sa usapan natin, ha? Ay sabi ko, bakit hindi natin isasama? After all, uh, this is the word of God. This is the uh, command and the teaching of our Lord to forgive one another. So again, my dear brothers and sisters, well, this lady uh, was rather religious going to church every day. Pero ito po yung split ng kanyang uh, uh, devotion, yung kanyang pagiging uh, uh, religious and pious from her act of forgiving uh, cousin. There's also this politician who on Sundays, he always goes to church and, uh, you know, to some people, he was a very good and pious man. Now, one time, the priest was giving a uh, homily regarding the Ten Commandments. At alam niyo yung pare, I talk about uh, uh, the Ten Commandments. And then he went uh, to the commandments. Sabi niya, honor your father and your mother. Love and respect your uh, parents. And sabi nitong uh, uh, politician who was seated uh, near the pulpit, Amen, Father, Amen. Nowadays, there are so many who are not uh, respecting their parents. And then, patuloy yung pare, sabi na, uh, Thou shalt not kill. And sabi na naman itong politiko, Amen, Father, Amen. That's very true. Because nowadays, there's so much killing. You know, for example, Father, you know, one was killed by a police uh, killed a policeman, mother and daughter, cold-blooded. And then recently, uh, there is also this uh, uh, flight stewardess who was killed and raped by a gang. So, Father, there are so many things. Uh, corrupt politicians, he said. And then the priest said, uh, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Amen, Father, amen. And then sabi niya, pare, thou shalt not steal. O ba, tinignan yung pare, itong politiko, sabi niya, Father, oops, hindi ka na nangangaral. Nakikialam ka na sa buhay ko, ha? Sabi niya. Well, yung palang politikong yun ay involved sa mga graft and corruption. That's why sabi niya, well, hindi ka na nangangaral. Nakikialam ka na sa aking buhay. So bakit pipiliin natin yung mga utos ng ating Panginoon at ito ang mga sundin natin. It should not be that way, my dear brothers and sisters. And this would be a split type of faith in our, in our personality, in our spirituality, in our life. As parents, teach your children to follow the teachings of God as summed up in the Ten Commandments of God. Well, they are still young. Let's teach by good examples 
the universal command, do what is good and avoid by all means what is evil. But dear brothers and sisters, we are beginning a new year. But uh, this new year is for us uh, a challenge to renew ourselves uh, with uh, our moral and spiritual uh, acts. At uh, gaya nga ng uh, palaging inaawit yung bagong taon. Sabi niya, bagong taon ay magbagong buhay nang lumigaya ang ating bayan. Well, hanggang doon na lang. <laughs> Pero, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, that's still the call of baptism. Magbagong taon tayo, magbagong buhay. At nawa po, gaya ng sinabi ng Panginoong Amang nasa langit, sa kanyang anak ni Yesu Kristo, sinabi niya, this is my beloved son. Maybe we can say also someday that our Lord will say, This is my beloved son and daughter for whom I am well pleased. Amen. And now let us uh, proclaim our, and profess our faith. I believe, believe in, in one, one God, God the, Father the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today, we recall Jesus' formal investiture as the servant of the Lord. He will take upon himself the sins of the world. With gratitude for his generosity, let our response be, Merciful God, hear us. Merciful God, hear us. For the whole Catholic Church, especially her leaders, may they be the humble and brave heralds of Jesus in the world of today. We pray. Merciful, Merciful God, God, hear, hear us. us. For the newly baptized, especially those who are adults, may they treasure the presence of the Holy Spirit in their hearts, and always act according to his promptings. We pray. Merciful, Merciful God, God, hear us. For the poor, the sick, and the jobless, may they find in the Christian community the support and help that they need. We pray. Merciful, Merciful God, God, hear us. Hear us. For the missionaries and those involved in charitable works, may their apostolate be a source of enlightenment, consolation, and total liberation for all. We pray. Merciful, Merciful God, God, hear us. For all of us gathered here, may we always be aware that we too 
are God's adopted children and please Him at all times. We pray. Merciful, Merciful God, God, hear, hear us. us. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions and the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Merciful, Merciful God, God, hear, hear us. us. Lord Jesus, at your baptism, you accepted to carry the crushing burden of our sins. May we lighten that burden by honoring the commitments of our baptism, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who will, in his compassion, to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descended in the likeness of dove we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you and constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here, and also our televiewers here and abroad. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us now pray together the prayer Christ our Lord uh, taught us. And in this prayer, let us take note, especially the words of our Lord, that we ask forgiveness from the Father, but we should also forgive our brothers and sisters who have wronged us or whom we have uh, offended. 
This is uh, the uh, meaning of forgiveness. And so, brothers and sisters, if you have uh, relatives, if you have friends, co-workers that you have offended, and I'm not in talking terms with uh, in months and years, this is uh, an opportune time to uh, start this process of reconciliation and forgiveness. And so, let us now uh, pray the prayer for our Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let's uh, give to one another the sign of peace and reconciliation. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 
And our Lord Jesus Christ gave his body and blood in the form of bread and wine. Happy are we, brothers and sisters, to be invited to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer for the unity of the family. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures, and still forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others obey their parents and those in authority and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of christian life here and hereafter through christ our lord and savior amen Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray, pray for, for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calongsud. Saints Arnold Jensen and Joseph Reinadovitz. Pray for us. Let us pray. Nourish with his sacra sacramental gifts. We humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name, in truth, and in action through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated, brothers and sisters, and our televiewers. Um, unang una sa lahat ay uh, papasalamat uh, Mr. Rector ng Christ the King Mission Seminary, si Reverend Pablito Tagora. SBD. 
And also our commentator, Sister Daryl uh, Ibarra, for here. Then uh, our lecturer, Sir Vern, um, Brother Nino Versosa. And our special thanks to our sponsors, donors, and benefactors, to our televiewers and line audience, and also to our seminary staff and personnel. Then I am reminding you also to uh, uh, join us in our novena to say our mother perpetual help every Wednesday at 6 in the evening, live streaming at uh, MCFI's SPD uh, Facebook, SPD Media Facebook and YouTube channel. St. Jude to the Youth also, Novena Mass every Thursday at 6 in the evening, live streaming at MCFI SBD Media Facebook page and YouTube channel. And then, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, our seminarians who went home uh, for uh, a short vacation uh, have returned already, but they are undergoing quarantine. Well, we are starting the um, second semester, I would uh, like to appeal to your help to please continue to help our seminarians. Palagi ko pong sinasabi na importante ang ating mga seminarians si kung wala pong mga seminarista, wala din magpapare, walang maging missionary, walang obispo at santo papa. So, uh, and then we cannot also have missionaries to work in uh, non-Christian countries and also to say Mass and uh, hear confessions. And that's why uh, we have uh, to help our seminarians because these are future priests, missionaries, and bishops. So, adapt seminarians, pwede pong um, ipadala sa account number ko po. Uh, <clears throat> BDO my savings account 0002200 account of Father Isabello San Luis you may also inquire through email bellsvd at gmail.com at ipagpapatuloy din po yung uh, uh, pagtulong ninyo dito sa aming uh, Family TV Mass. Uh, please, you can help by uh, sending your love offerings and intentions. You may send in your prayer, thanksgiving, healing, good health, financial recoveries, and blessings and others. At uh, email mcfi spd at gmail.com or contact 0961-811-8766. So uh, again, thank you. Thank you very much for all your support and my God bless and reward you. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God send his light upon you. Amen. May you always continue to enjoy his favor and devote yourselves in doing good. Amen. May you be always faithful to the commitments of your baptism. Amen. And uh, may the Lord bless uh, our brothers and sisters, especially those who are affected by COVID-19 pandemic affected not only in health, but also in uh, financial uh, difficulties. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to renew ourselves in this new year after the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Thanks be to God. Family TV Mass was brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation, Dr. Montano G. Ramos General Hospital, and SM Development Corporation.